Welcome back. This is a walkthrough video that will show you how to set up your payments method on Upwork. Remember, we have been talking about receiving payments on Upwork, getting paid. Now, there are different ways to actually do this to get to the page where you are going to set up your payment method on Upwork. But one of the easiest ways is to come to your work area. That is just navigate to find work. I'm already on the find work page, as you can tell from my URL here. And then go over to the extreme right where you have your profile picture, click on it, and then you go to settings. So when you click on settings, you would see what happens. All right, so after clicking on settings, if you are accessing your get paid page for the first time, Upwork is actually going to ask you to um, impute your password. In my own case, because I have done so before doing this recording, I was able to access it um, directly. But then again, after a while, um, because Upwork is very security conscious, Upwork is going to ask you to always input your password whenever you want to um, go into settings or you want to access um, where you are going to get paid. So we are already on the get paid um, page here. Um, if you have a balance, you will be able to see your available balance. Um, you'll be also, you will also be able to see your withdrawal schedule. Um, do you want to withdraw quarterly? Do you want to withdraw bi-weekly? Do you want to withdraw monthly? You can set that up as well. And you will also be able to set up um, which of your accounts. Uh, you would like Upwork to send your monies to based on your withdrawal schedule. We also have another um, field here that shows your last withdrawal. So you are able to see the last amount of money you transferred and to which of your accounts you transferred it. It even states the date you made that transfer. You can also view your transaction um, history. So, but today we want to focus on how you can set up your payment method on Upwork. So if you are a newbie and you are just starting this off, you won't have any form of withdrawal method. It's going to be empty. I have um, something there now because I have already set up my withdrawal method. So um, for you, what you need to do is click on the add button. Now, when you click on the add button, Upwork shows you a couple of withdrawal um, methods. Now, because I'm based in Nigeria, you can see Upwork is already making a recommendation for me to be able to um, withdraw my funds directly into my local bank account in Naira. Um, remember, in one of um, while we were doing this, we did mention that Upwork pays out or the currency that Upwork uses, the currency that Upwork uses is dollars. Um, that's the that's the currency Upwork operates in. So if you would like to receive your monies in your local currency, Upwork will have to do what is called a conversion converting to your local currency. In this case, because I am in Nigeria, Upwork will convert from USD to my um, to Naira and then transfer that directly into my uh, Naira account. So if you would like to do that, all you need to do is to click on the setup button and then you can um, just follow the prompts. Follow the prompts. Uh, for instance, if I do that, so this would depend exactly on the um, account that you are using. 
um, if you're in Nigeria, we have so many banks. We have GTB, we have Zenith Bank, we have First Bank. So what you need to do, you can actually reach out to your bank and they will tell you what the SWIFT code is. Input that in there and then go already know that this is my own. Then you can go on ahead to search and then you see it brings out all the information, the bank address, um, telling you that your the currency of your account, the withdrawal fee is going to be 99 cents and then Upwork will want you to put in your account number, um, your bank code. So please, you'll be, you'll be required to enter your three-digit bank code. This information you can also get from your bank. You'll be asked to input your first name, your last name. Um, I already have that there as well as your address, your city, your country. Just put in all of those information and click next. And once everything checks out, you would see that... Um, in about three working days your account will be approved so i'm not going to go ahead to do this because um i don't want to set up my account um my nara account i already did that um, but in this instance i am not going to set that up another thing you need to know again is upwork will only accept your bank account upwork does not accept a third party account um it's it's just the rule now so ensure that you are the account holder and the information make sure your name tallies the name you have here let it also tally with the name you have on upwork because whenever you start having some um some differences you know maybe your for example my name is Tokwe Ademola and then you start having Bola Ademola maybe Bola happens to be another name that I bear but on Upwork I'm Tokwe Ademola and then my account says something else um, there's going to just be some some problem there so make sure that the name on your account matches the name on Upwork All right, so we are done with the one Upwork recommended, which is payment directly to my local bank account. So I'm earning in dollars, but Upwork is going to um, change that, convert from dollar to Naira, depending on the um, official exchange rates, and then Upwork is going to pay me that. So once I click on this setup button, I do that, and in three working business um, in three business days upwork is going to approve that if everything checks out if it doesn't check out upwork will reach out to you another payment um, option that we have is called payoneer payoneer is very common in a lot of african countries like we mentioned earlier on in the previous modules and this is because paypal um, which is a very, very good payment option, does not operate in Nigeria and in most African countries. So you find out that Payoneer is the one that most Africans use. So again, you want to set that up. Um, a few other information you should know is that whenever you are transferring your funds from um, Upwork to Payoneer, you will be charged. Upwork will charge you a $2 withdrawal fee and also know that Payoneer charges some additional fees. So if you want to know more about that, feel free to click on that link so that you can um, know more about the fees that Payoneer charges. And if you don't have a Payoneer account, you can go on ahead to click on this. It's optional. But there's just another way you can do it. By going to the Setup button here, once you click on the Setup button, you see you are taken to another page that shows you where how you can sign up. So Upwork integrates with Payoneer and directly from your Upwork account, you can actually go on to sign up on Payoneer and create your Payoneer account. Now, if you already have a Payoneer account and you are choosing Payoneer as your 
um, payment method, you would see that it will automatically sign in. It will just automatically sign in and connect. But in a situation where probably you have not connected, you have your Payoneer account opened, you have signed up there, but you have not integrated it with Upwork. So when you come to this page, just go on ahead to click on the sign in um, link here, and it will take you to where you can sign in to um, into Payoneer, All right? So it's either you sign in or you sign up. The next payment option we have here by Upwork is you can do a wire transfer. So a wire transfer, to do a wire transfer, um, if you are in Nigeria or any part of the world, you will need to have a domiciliary account. And what we mean by that is you will, have, you will need to have a dollar account opened locally in your country. So for example, if you are in Nigeria, it means you have a dollar account, a USD account. Now, if you do that, if, in, if you want to transfer using this option, there are some information you should know. And one of them is that you would be charged 30 USD, $30 per wire transfer to any bank at all. So that way, whether you are in Nigeria, it doesn't matter wherever you are in India, it doesn't matter wherever you are. Once you have a dollar account, you can wire do a wire transfer and you'll be charged $30 uh, per transfer. And then it usually takes up to seven business days to receive your funds. Sometimes it's about two days, you know, and sometimes it could take as much as seven business days. And in a situation where it's after seven days and you have not seen your money, you can just reach out to Upwork support so that they can help you um, sort that out. So again, what you need to do is just like the um, local bank account that we talked about earlier, but in this case, the, the charge is higher. It's $30. Um, you might be wondering whether this is a good thing to do, but in a situation where you have bulk money, where you have as much as $3,000, $5,000, um, doing this charge might not uh, be a bad idea, especially considering the fact that when you go into Payoneer, there are other additional charges um, apart from this. So at the end of the day, when you compare all of this together, I'm telling you that um, taking the wire transfer might not be um, a bad option. So, but this is up to you. This is really up to you. Um, the good thing is you can actually set up all of these payment options. You can set them up on Upwork and then at each point decide which one you want to use. So that's the fantastic thing about this. So when you click on this setup, I don't want to go through this because it's the same thing. It's the same thing like the local bank account. The only thing is that this is now a USD. So you are going to be inputting the details for your USD. So this is for uh, people located in other parts of the world. Now, if you are in the US, because Upwork um, is also located in the US, it's completely different. So again, this can be used um, anywhere in the world, um, even in the U.S., if you so desire. But um, there is a direct to U.S. bank option. So if you have an account in the U.S. or if you are um, living in the U.S., this is um, available to you. And the f you make free deposits to U.S. banks. You are not charged. And the deposit to a U.S. bank account is going to be, obviously, it's going to be in USD. So it's free to transfer funds from Upwork to, um, to U.S. Um, accounts. All right. So, for example, if you want to transfer to the Bank of America, there will be no charges at all. Again, all you need to do is to click on the Setup button and go through all of those processes. I'm not going to do that in this video. The processes are very, very easy. All you have to do is just follow each step. Any bank information, sort code, SWIFT codes, whatever it is that you need, you can easily reach out to your bank and they are going to give you all of that information. Again, just ensure that your details on both the um, 
both your bank account and your Upwork account, your name especially, make sure they match. Again, remember that you can set up all of this. All of this, we have about four here for those of us located in Nigeria here. Um, if you are not in Nigeria, I'm very sure the PayPal option will also be included for you. You can set every one of them up. Set this up, set that up, set everyone up. And at the point of getting paid, you can choose whichever one you want. And see, there's a note here from Upwork that says, tell us how you want to get your funds, okay? For all account types, it may take up to three business days to activate. And they have been very, very consistent with these three business days. Sometimes it doesn't take that much. So this is how you can set up your payment method. I hope you have um, been able to learn one or two things and why don't you just go on ahead to set up your payment method on Upwork now. Thank you and see you in the next lesson.